What's going on? Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about who Amazon FBA business is for. If you're wondering about that question, who can sell, what kind of people should be looking into Amazon FBA, why you should consider Amazon FBA, then this video is for you because I'm going to answer some of the most important questions that I get asked all the time. Again guys, Tam here. I would love to save you guys time and money and that's what this channel is about to help you guys establish your business like I have done and learn from my mistakes and learn from my successes. So who is Amazon FBA business for? The beauty about Amazon FBA business is first let's take a look at the world. Okay. The beauty is that e-commerce has been a growing market in the past few years and especially in the, par in the past decade. It has boomed. That is the way the world is going. If you go to your mall, right, you will notice a lot of stores are becoming really more modern concept, not a lot of stuff in their store, but a lot more sales um, when they're doing, uh, when they're actually selling online. Everybody is selling online. If any private label that you see, they're selling online. Any legitimate business you see, they're selling online. Now, there are exceptions like in Canada, we have Winners, Marshalls, and HomeSense, which are more of opportunity buyers, which means when they, they bring their product, they don't know what exactly they're gonna get. So they cannot really put that on their website because they don't know, uh, they don't have more units of the same product they whatever they can pick up because they're selling reselling the stuff that doesn't get sell around the world the, their buyers basically go hunt uh, for products and then whatever they find if they find let's say five units of a shirt that's all they have so that's why they cannot do online business but a lot of other companies like any retailer you see they are doing online business is going to be the next phenomenon and then in the next 10 20 years you probably are not going to see as many stores around malls will be way different they probably will have computer setups where you can actually go and do your work online look at banks for example right everything is happening online even when you go to a bank here there are not too many people trying to help you yeah there are some because a lot of um, older generation like senior citizens they are not tech savvy so they're not going to be online but a lot of younger people they actually have computers and you do your own stuff at the bank online everything is becoming online guys and that's why Amazon is where it is today because of that e-commerce is such a growing market and Amazon has been the backbone of that Amazon really started it all if you think about it it took that to the next level Amazon is nothing else but um, another Walmart except it's online and except that the sellers are not them mostly it's individual sellers around the world that created an opportunity for anybody and everybody to be able to run a business start a business learn about business when dealing uh, when selling online so think about it guys that your overhead cost is really low you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to rent a place, um, go buy equipment, uh, get your inventory in, anything like that. Amazon's business is literally to be the middleman, literally to be the facilitator, literally to be the inventory holder for you guys to be able to sell. That's all it is, guys. Amazon's business, that's why it's so unique. Now, they do make money. They do make a lot of money because they charge good amount of money for doing all that right and word on the street is that even the shipping they're gonna actually try to make sure that when you're ordering products into an Amazon FBA warehouse that you use their suppliers so they're trying to strike deals with forwarders that can actually give them amazing rates for sellers around the world so they can actually do it all in one place and not have to look for different forwarders everywhere else so I don't want to get sidetracked so who is Amazon for Amazon is for your recent graduates from university, even high school guys, if you have a little bit of business knowledge and you know how things can work, and if you don't, there's a lot of information like my YouTube channel available for you to actually go and learn about this stuff. You don't need a degree to actually start an Amazon business. You just have to have good business acumen, right? You gotta understand the value of money, you gotta understand the value of time, and you gotta understand the value of family. And that's oh, why do I what do I mean by that family the reason is that Amazon is gonna give you that freedom to actually spend time with your family create something out of 
like really low low investment so my like my comfort zone investment is between two to three thousand dollars just because I want to make sure I give it a good push now a lot of people start with five hundred thousand dollars if you can't afford it sure start low but make sure you consider your options it's a slower growth but you can make it happen so if you're a recent graduate from university and you want to have a financial freedom now I know that a lot of people get excited about getting jobs corporate jobs you guys know how hard it is to climb the corporate ladder and how much bureaucracy and red tape there is. So Amazon allows you to actually, in a lot of ways, be your own boss, create your own schedule and run your business. Of course, the more harder you work, the bigger your business gets, not uh, somebody you're working for, right? What happens in a corporate world when the company doesn't need you anymore, right? They don't care about you like they don't they don't the business is gonna go on everybody is expandable in the corporate world that's one thing that I have learned from my time in the corporate world that everybody is expendable even though there are people who care at the end of the day business is business if your goals are not aligning with theirs they're gonna part ways and that would be that so but Amazon is a business that anybody at any age can get into. Now, I know a lot of people who are in their 30s that have gotten into this, which is a little bit different. Now, when you're a student, right, you have a little bit more free time, you have a little more exploring time, so to speak. You're trying to find your footing. So it's a perfect time to explore Amazon FBA so that you can actually build something at an early age and you will actually make good money. And if you start, let's say, at 20, I can guarantee you guys by 23, 24, you'll be making over $150,000, $200,000 with Amazon FBA if you do it the right way, right? So what happens when you're getting older? You get married, you start, uh, you start having a family, things are a little different now, you need constant cash coming in. And that's why it is important that you start this early so that when you get to that stage, you don't have to worry about oh my God, I have to get a nine to five job so I can have a steady income, right? Because with Amazon business, one month you'll be doing 50,000, the other month you could be doing 30,000, right? There's always fluctuations just like any normal business. So, but that doesn't mean you can start it at that age. If you have enough savings and you have enough support, you can start it at any age. I know people who've started at over 50 guys. I know retirees who've started because they cannot sit at home and do nothing they want to do something so Amazon has been a really growing business among retirees because that allows them to be active that allows them to put their years of business acumen and experience that they have learned and to work and actually build something for themselves and at the comfort of their home with their family so that's what Amazon does for you now if you ask yourself is Amazon for me the answer is yes the answer is absolute yes there is no better time than any time you can get into Amazon there is still a lot of growth happening in the e-commerce world there's still a lot of growth happening with Amazon and there's going to be a whole new setup in the next decade or two with Amazon so don't miss out on that guys get started as early as possible I wish I wish I started when I was in university and not years after that because that I, I wasted a lot of time that way and even though I got started a little bit I did not really push it harder until two years after I graduated so um, getting earlier even at high school I wish I did that I could have built a multi-million dollar business now as you guys know I always tell you guys I'm a multi six-figure seller but I'm not a seven-figure seller and I don't pretend to be guys um, I'm comfortable but I want to get there I want to get there and I know in the next few years I'm gonna get there but um, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys like don't make the mistakes that I did which was not starting early start as early as you can if you have a good support system from your parents your family Get them, ask them like, what do you think of this? What if I started this? And they will support you. And guys, with two, three grand, honestly, you can start this business and start getting your hands dirty and learn the tricks and hacks and everything. But before all that, I highly, highly suggest you guys take a course if you can, if you can afford it or if you can buy it. If not, watch YouTube channels like mine, right? Because I provide all that information for free. The material that I've learned from courses, the material that I've learned from my experience, right? 
all that stuff is in these videos and I want you guys to have free access to it so that you can actually um, you can actually like don't have to go break your bank let's say you spend five thousand uh, five hundred two thousand dollars on a course well you can get the information for free and spend that thousand dollars on your products to manufacture and bring it overseas and actually start selling that's my point guys my point is not to sell something to you guys my point to actually encourage you guys to watch these kind of videos so you learn the business which is very similar to the courses you will see all over the world and all the gurus that you see and actually start using the money that you can save by actually building your Amazon FBA business that's it guys I hope I actually um, or uh, I answered some of the questions that you guys had about Amazon FBA and who is it for and uh, what you can do with it and uh, how much potential there is because there is the potential is massive guys thanks again have a wonderful day please subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys on the next one bye